Hi guys, I'm Claudia here with San Vino in Austin, Texas for the South by Southwest Festival and I'm here with Christian Nolan Jones, writer and director of Glitter Ain't Gold. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your experience at South by so far? South by is crazy. Um, we've, we've done a lot of partying, but also met a lot of great filmmakers. Um, and it's, it's great being here with them, um, screening the film because I've, I've never been around, I think, this caliber of filmmaking. So that's exciting to just be a part of the conversation. So yeah. What is your earliest memory of film? My earliest memory of film, um, actually, pre me being a filmmaker, is my mom trying to show me a bunch of black and white movies. Um, and then after that, a lot of watching movies with family some of my greatest memories are watching things like Friday or um, Don't Be a Menace at home um, with my family. So I think, I don't know if that started me on my filmmaking journey, mm -hmm. but I can definitely say that filmmaking is something that I see as a possibility to create memories um, within the home, so yeah. So what specifically got you into wanting to make film? Um, my friends in high school were filmmakers, uh, Darius and Russell. And I would you know, watch them make things. And I decided to team up with my friend Darius and write treatments. And just seeing you know, him taking my words to you know, being on, at that time, like a laptop screen or a desktop just seemed really cool. So when I went off to college, um, I decided to buy a camera and try to teach myself how to shoot. And, and by that time I had begged Darius to teach me how to edit. Um, so me not knowing what I was doing shooting wise, just reading up uh, on a lot of books, actually like photography books <laughs> where <laughs> what I was reading at the time and I didn't even know it, but um, that turned into me making my first film. And I, I guess, you know, I, I didn't look back after that, so yeah. Cool. When you were making Glitter and Gold, did you have a favorite aspect or part of doing that? I think my favorite part was probably being on set um, because it was just such a, a family environment. It was, it was, you know, pretty much like all of my friends on the crew, um, I was able to bring the production designer, Van Gogh Jones, like down from New York, and we've worked on every project together that I've done out of school. And Mayiv, um, our producer, you know, same thing. We've worked on projects together. And then um, our cinematographer, Alvin McBean, uh, I, I was trying to figure out what project I could work with with him on since I, I had met him. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool to, to be able to like have this first collaboration down with him and um, yeah, I, I just think being in that environment was like very good for me. And just to see everybody sort of tap into the energy of the story. And, you know, we got to be hyper intentional about what was being captured was, was really exciting as well. And you wrote the film, correct? Yes, so I, this is the quickest I've wrote anything. I wrote it in like two days. Oh my gosh. Um, um, I sent the, the script to my manager and he was like so excited and I told him I wanted to do it in two months. And he was like, no, you don't have time to do that. You're crazy. But um, it ended up working out that way. And uh, I'm, I'm just happy that I was able to convince everybody to get behind it because- So you actually did it in two months? Um, yeah, we so we went from the first draft. I wrote the first draft in a couple hours came back with a few notes, and then I'm, I made one more iteration, and that one maybe took a, a couple more hours to figure out. Um, and then after that, um, the way that I convinced everybody was going to comment and telling, and, and, and telling him about the project and asking him to get behind it. And, you know, it's kind of hard to deny, like, when, when you have a project finance so 
<laughs> I was able to go back to the producers and say, like, hey, look, he wants to help. Mm -hmm. You guys want to do this with me? And everybody was like, no, it's still not enough time. <laughs> but I, I, I sort of like just got us to just work on the beginning phases of pre-production. And then as we got closer to the date, everybody was like, okay, like this, this might work, this might work. Okay. So um, I kind of tricked everybody with being a part of the project. <laughs> okay. What was the inspiration behind the film or is it something from your past or? Yeah, so this story actually is something that I did. It wasn't to necessarily convince a girl, but I had in fourth grade gotten kicked out of school for fighting and um, I ended up at a new school um, and I just wanted to fit in. And I saw a kid in my class had a chain. So I begged my mom, like, can I get a chain? She was like, no. So I had to figure out how to get the money to get it. And she gave me the ride to the flea market. It wasn't my uncle, but that character, Uncle Duke is based on um, like my stepbrother and like older cousins that I have. Um, but I was able to get the chain and nobody ended up caring because by the time I got it, you know, my classmates were actually my friends at that point. But, you know, I think that it's just cool, the, the concept of us trying to fit in. Um, mm -hmm. Like, people always want to be a part of something. Yeah. And a lot of times it doesn't really matter. It just matters about, you know, who you are. So I always say, uh, in reference to the film, uh, chain doesn't make it the man, yeah. you know? Um, so yeah. Great. Are there any future projects that you can Divulge. share? Divulge? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm working on an extension of this project. It's called Kinfolk. It's set five years in the future. We're follow following Jabril's character. Um, after he meets his best friend, Conrad, and the two of them, they make a pact to graduate high school together, um, which sounds very simple, but, you know, um, it's full of twists and turns, the journey to graduate, so, yeah. and that film, much like Glitter, is based on me growing up on the east side of Atlanta, mm -hmm. um, and I, I tell people it's like uh, Mean Streets, because, you know, Martin Scorsese, he made the film about Little Italy, but also his friends. So it, it's sort of um, the same with me. I'm making it about the East Side, my friends, but also a lot of it is fiction as well. So yeah. Okay, yeah. cool, exciting. Thank you. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk with me today. Thank you. Again, this it. is Christian Nolan Jones, writer and director of Glitter Ain't Gold, and I'm Claudia with Sine Vino. Boom. <laughs>